Well, it's finally time to renew your Microsoft Enrollment for Education Solutions, or EES, and we're here to simplify the process. I'm Sean with SHI, and in the next 90 seconds, I'll walk you through all three stages of the EES renewal process. Review, identify, and purchase. So let's rip off the Band-Aid and dive right in. Your SHI team member will provide an as-is quote of your current licensing environment. This will be an opportunity for you to validate that you're adequately licensed while reviewing an estimate for your next annual term. It is important to note though, this is not a final quote that will come later along with a request for your PO. Now, as you review that quote, you'll want to identify any changes and report those to your SHI team member. Changes can include things like increases or decreases in the quantity of licensing in your current environment, could be additional products that you'd like to add, but this will also be the time to notify us of any change in faculty count as that may alter your licensing needs going forward. If there are changes, we'll present a new renewal quote for review and approval. If there are no changes, we'll take that renewal quote as is and go ahead and move forward with the renewal paperwork. Now, as we move into the purchase stage, we enter the home stretch. Your SHI team member will provide the renewal paperwork for you to review and sign. We'll also send you the final renewal quote, at which point it's safe to generate that PO. SHI will process that PO and send the order to Microsoft for final activation of the new enrollment. And there you have it, the entire process for renewing your Microsoft enrollment for education solutions in just three simple steps, review, identify, and purchase. I hope you can rip through this process and rest easy knowing that your EES renewal is just three steps away.